Hello heroes, I'm Action Smackdown, the two-in-one hero made up of a virus from the 70s and a guy who likes to make things. Back today with the wifey shuffle. Let's see what cute girl we get today. I hope she's someone that I recognize. Let's see. Yeah, she's definitely someone I wish I recognized. She has a very 70s look to her. Um I think she might be what, top ace, something like that. <laughs> something, something tennis, something Osamu Dezaki, doing sports anime. So nice. Um, she also has kind of like almost a Rose of Versailles look. Um, but all right, <laughs> enough of me guessing. Who is she? Name is Hiromi Oka from Aim for the Top Ace. Yeah, yeah. Aim for the ace. Yes. 1973. Yes. Yes. That sounds good. <laughs> I wonder what she's looking at. She's all like, gosh, there's so much tennis over there. How do I tennis like the tennis over there? <laughs> but yeah, um, I did uh, see an announcement recently that aim for the aim for the ace is um is getting a full release in the US by uh what was it? Um Discotech likes to get a whole lot of um old school titles. Um sometimes they even dub things. They dubbed they dubbed the Phantom Ship uh recently and released the Blu-ray of that, and that was pretty awesome. <laughs> and, um, that movie was pretty ridiculous. If you ever watched it, you, you know what I mean. If you haven't watched it, go find out what I mean. Because that movie was a pretty good time. It had, like, the... <laughs> had a phantom ship. And other stuff. But uh, anyway, that, that is complete tangential. Um, yeah, Hiromi here. <laughs> I love her hair. Um, I wonder if this is actually a, a hairstyle from, like, actual people in the 70s. Kind of like the sideburns and, like, the almost, almost, uh, ponytail in the back. Like, it probably wouldn't be too hard to, like, actually ponytail it. It's, like, kind of wavy. Kind of spiky. I like it. But yeah, um, 1973. That is around when uh, Kashan was airing. So if I were watching Aim for the Ace, I could have also watched Kashan. Hopefully they weren't airing at the same exact hour. Same exact time slot. Because then I would have to make decisions. Am I going to watch this cute girl? 
What am I gonna watch Kosh on? Of course I wanna watch Kosh on. But look at this cute girl! And the 70s were tough. I had to make so many hard decisions. These days you don't have to worry that much about decisions like that. Cause you could, you could strain things. On your schedule. It is to the point where like, you're gonna chill in front of the TV with like a plate of something for dinner. And then we're just going to be like, which thing are we going to watch right now? And then, like, I spend as much time looking at a list of things to watch than, like, actually eating the dinner. <laughs> I could have already finished, like, half an hour ago, but I don't want to eat dinner. Bored. Lame. I need to eat my dinner while looking at a cute girl. Like, you know me. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, are you familiar with, uh, Hiromi Oka? Let me know in the content, uh, in the, in the comments below. And, uh, tell me what you think of her. Are you excited that this Gotek is going to be releasing her series? Are you gonna make the same face when this Gotek releases the Blu-ray and it's right there in front of you? You're like, whoa, look at all that tennis over there! But the best part is that you get to look at the tennis over there. That tennis over there has Hiromi Oka. Cute girl from 1973. Let's all show our appreciation to Hiromi Oka.